Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Multiplayer Europa Universalis 4, featuring myself, Arthenix, as well as my two co-hosts, Torior. Hello. And Lord Malvern. Hey there. All right, we're going to get right back into it. I am uh, currently involved in a coalition war um, against, I attacked my coalition, uh, one of its members of Norway, and France is actually helping me in this war, which is a nice change after Torior has been monopolizing them for other his nefarious Oh, I still plans. am. They have about <laughs> 30,000 troops in, in the Ottoman lands, or Shirvan. Um, well... They have forty thousand. They also have forty thousand troops in Bavaria, which is more help from I've seen from them in a really long time. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, I'm also continuing my colonial endeavors and, uh, in general, trying to keep up with the massive, massive nation that is Italy. <laughs> well, I might be massive, but I'm not sure if I'm richer than you. We'll see if we get any antagonisms. Oh, I am still at war with uh, with these uh, these little guys here. I'm gonna gonna kick their asses. But uh, probably I'm uh, probably not gonna take all of Pomerania though. That's that's something that I, it's probably too expensive for me to do that. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, Pomerania. Well, Pomerania is a strategic location for you. Definitely. It is. Yeah. I'm going to take a couple of their, their provinces. The uh, I'm going to try and take their uh, their highest Son uh, of a <coughs> base Never, tax ones. But uh, I'm in Regency now. Hmm. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, yeah, that's right. Your king, I remember, you just, like, right at the end of the last episode, you got a new heir. How long are you in Regency for? Um, my heir is four years old. Ooh. Well, eleven so years. So for the whole of this recording session, most probably. We'll see. <laughs> eleven years? Uh, probably not quite that much, but somehow I suspect you'll still manage to find a way to expand your empire, despite that. Hmm. Well, I am hmm. at war with the Ottomans. I can. I guess I can drag it out. To get as much as I can, hundred percent war score, and so on. Um, right. Come on, guys. They're just the Ottomans. <coughs> oh, hey. If uh. King Ivan the Fourth of Muscovy dies. Uh, a noble from House von Hohenzollern will succeed to the throne. That's me. Awesome. That'd be interesting. For you? Ah, yes. Unfortunately, I cannot do anything uh, to prevent that because Muscovy has rivaled me. So I... Oh, uh, never mind. They got an air. Oh, damn it. Well, he was, he's a pretty young king. That's not unexpected, I suppose. <clears throat> I need to win this war. All right. Thank you for helping, Sweden. Are you yeah, and sure. Sweden fighting in the same war? Yep, they are my ally. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm continuing to fight against Norway up here, and uh, everybody else is pretty much defeated. Oh, that's annoying. Just lost 100 admin points. Hmm. And... Also, at the same time, trying to keep my colonial empire going. Oh, hang on. Speaking of which, got to pause for a second.
Okay. Oh, hey. I see you got a new, uh, new colonial nation. New colonial nation. What is it called? New Arthanex. Didn't you already have a new Arthanex nation? No, I had a North Arthanex. Oh. No, I have a North Arthanex and a New Arthanex. I thought about calling it Middle Arthanex instead of New Arthanex. <laughs> Need to get some good missions. This might actually be a good idea. Portugal joined the Catholic League. Poland has joined the Catholic League. That's not too surprising. Oh, crap. Oh, I didn't read. Uh, for my viewers, I didn't read the file conditions. Mm. I took the mission to accumulate money and then took a lot of loans to do it quickly, but I forgot that it <laughs> invalidates the mission. Mm, pretty stupid Oops. mistake. But I have been recording for a few hours today already, so I might be a little rusty, as I said. Uh, if France will join the Protestant League, we might actually stand a chance, but the way it seems now... Mm. I think I'm uh, Arthanex. Can you say something? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I thought I was I was losing you um, because I heard some weird crackle in my in my headphone. Oh. This <laughs> ended. Hmm. Oh, it's in its Moscow's Moscow Oh, board. France. Oh, god damn it. I shouldn't have given the military access. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I think that's my war that they're fighting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns out I'm at war with Pomerania too. Oh, crap. Or, I stopped no, it's, paying uh, attention to my forces and I'm being attacked by the Ottomans. Crap, crap, crap. It's actually Thuringia that, that they're attacking, which is... They're, they're the war leader Damn it. in my... Uh, on the o opposition on my side, so <clears throat> this means that I'm going to be taking a little while longer here. Okay, you guys stay here. France, we need you here. France, France is busy. Okay, they're sieging Pomerania. It's very important. No, oh, it isn't. <laughs> help me with the Ottomans. <laughs> no, no. Pomerania is far, far more important. No, they're not even in Pomerania. They're in Thuringia. Oh, Thuringia, right. They're like in like the least important country Sweden, in the it's world. It's Sweden-France thing again. I always yeah. get them mixed up. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Next next patch, they're going to make uh, Sweden look much more different. Damn it, damn it, not working. Things are not working properly. No, I'm not going to give you a concede defeat, Pomerania. That's, that's too good for you. Oh, good. Victory. Here you are, you you unlethally, uh, uh, unlegally, illegally seized uh, <laughs> Brandenburg territory here to form your own little club, and uh, yeah, you you only want to concede defeat. No, oh. no, not going to happen. Let's take the mission to protect against Muscovy. Wonder if we can pull that off. How many troops do they have? Uh, 71,000. That's quite a few. How many do I have? 56. Oh, that's not enough. Speaking Need more. Which, should probably recruit a few more troops. Jeez. Mm. Stenton's walls are made out of freaking adamantium. Does us in Poland, good builders. Staten is Polish now. Ah. 
just in case you're wondering. Yeah, I actually, I always get a little confused about which of the Eastern German slash Polish lands belong to who these days. It's kind of hard for me to figure out where the border is. Because Stettin is like directly just a little bit northeast of Berlin, right? So it's like, how far well, away is Berlin from the Polish it border? It seems it's just a little, but it's a few hundred kilometers. Novgorod is westernizing. I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference to one of them. All right, almost done with this war with Norway. Um, when does our truce with yeah. England expire? Good. One more year. It's going to work out almost perfectly. After next year, not getting Sweden. <laughs> you are not getting Sweden. No way. Okay, well, apparently, uh... I was a bit concerned about it, but now they have an heir. Uh, so they do. Well, I'm just as happy that you're not getting it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, I, I wasn't going to get it anyway, because uh, you did have more prestige all the time. For a while was... you were. For a while you were uh, in line. I was trying to get it, but I couldn't get more prestige than you have. So it was um, it wasn't a possibility for me really. That's why I get got a real marriage with them. You probably noticed. That. I noticed that. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> it'll teach me. Uh, it'll teach me to tell you what I'm about to get a, a, a different air of my. Okay. Um, just a little thing. I did notice it uh, quite a time before you said it, and I already started doing the the, the thing, and I didn't oh, okay. say anything because I'm evil. <laughs> because I didn't want you to notice and start improving your prestige, but it didn't work out for me, unfortunately. Well, I always try and keep my prestige up anyway, you know. I think we've had that conversation before. Yes, yes, we did. Speaking of, one thing that um, uh, came up last week, or that I wanted to talk about last week, but we never managed to do it on air. Did you see the new fort system that they're going to implement? No, no I, did, like I didn't pay attention friggin to that. Yeah, it's it's a huge. It's going to be a huge difference. Um, so the way forts are going to work now is um, they're going to be significantly expensive. Like every fort, and not every province is going to have one. Uh, like every fort is going to cost as much to maintain as like a heavy ship of whatever time period you're in. Um, and the uh, the forts are going to have like a zone of control, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so. Any unfortified province that's adjacent to a fort, it, when you, if you go to war, oh, Lord Melbourne's making behind. I'm going to pause for a quick second anyway mm -hmm. to negotiate peace with Norway. Um, it will automatically be occupied by an adjacent fort. So if war breaks out and you have a fort on your border, you'll automatically mm -hmm. occupy any um, adjacent uh -oh. provinces. But um, they're also changing it so that you can't move past forts every fort if you if you move into a province that's adjacent to an enemy fort um the only way that you'll be able oh they won't accept this piece yet all right never mind sorry uh the only way you'll be able to move past a fort is to actually siege it down and forts are going to have minimum garrisons of five thousand troops now um that's a huge change yeah, it's absolutely huge. Uh, and they're going to increase every level of the fort is going to add an additional 5,000 troops. So what's going to happen is is that the days of carpet sieging are quite possibly um, going to end because you won't be able to move past the forts on the other country's border without sieging them down mm -hmm. unless you can find a way around. I understand. It's quite a significant change. Mm -hmm. uh, what have we not sieged? Uh, oh, I guess we haven't sieged all of Pomerania. Pomerania's not at war with you, I don't think. Uh, yeah, they are. They're in oh, the they are. Okay. Well, I, I'm going to take them, so don't worry about that. <laughs> are you going to do it soon? Pretty soon. 
I need to get Norway to. I want to get Norway to 100% because they won't accept my peace right now. They are, as soon as I'm done with this province that I'm sieging right now, I'm going to, to peace them out and uh, take all of them. Because they, they decided to make the, the capital, the, the, the province that I wanted, their capital. So it was pretty much last minute because the last time I checked, their, their capital was Volpalmer. So they must have changed it at like the last minute to spite me. They changed it to what? Stettin. Oh, yeah. Stettin. Yeah. Yeah. It is a good province. I think it's a center of trade, or isn't it? Uh, let's see here. I think it's got an estuary. I mean, yep. it def oh, okay. It definitely is a center of trade now. Hmm. Okay. So many interesting. Uh, Possible subject for personal unions, but none I can take advantage of. For example, Lord Malvern. Prussia doesn't ah, yes. have an, Prussia doesn't have an heir. Yeah, uh, hopefully that'll rectify itself soon enough. I'd rather. Uh, let's see here. It looks like who would um, who would inherit me right now? Uh, a noble from House Rikovit. Oh, so that's Rurkovich. Muscovy. It's uh, from Muscovy, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Xiu uh, doesn't have an heir. Uh... Oh, wait, what? where are you going? <coughs> I did not make you... Crap. No, I'm not... I, I'm not... No, don't, don't get there, France. I so I accidentally clicked my army out of the, out of Mecklenburg. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It looks like I'm gonna have to go take these islands in order to get this piece that I want. Good. All right. Um, All right. Got the Mecklenburg before France did. That's uh, that's comforting. <laughs> You're welcome to help siege France. You know, you got your. 64 stack combined here. I'm having some problems with the Ottoman war. It's taking longer than it should. I'm trying to figure out what province I should give. That's 10. All right. What province I should give my vassal in this war? It's uh, it's an interesting decision actually. <coughs> Unfortunately, they didn't. They don't have claims on any of them, despite being set to aggressive. Not fabricating very many claims. Does setting them to aggressive really help with them fabricating? I don't know. Why not? I not so, doing but it? I probably should have put a leader on this army. Ulm, Ulm, and the Palatinate don't have heirs. Let's see. Um. They're, they're both one province. Never mind. All right, I could use some help with the Ottoman war, but France seems occupied with something else. <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason, they have uh, they just have a fifty-four stack just sitting here doing nothing. Oh. Hmm. Well. I could use Norway's this not accepting my uh, my reasonable peace demands, so uh, the war has to continue. Mm. That is problematic. Wonder, should I release Georgia? Maybe. Um. What should I do with my diplomats here? George, would you like to be my vassal? No, you wouldn't. Hmm. I guess there is a way to remedy that. <laughs> oh, it's a pity I couldn't get Sweden. That would be such a nice bonus. But on the bright side, Arthnex didn't get Sweden as well, so... 
Oh, yeah. Look, look at the Swedish air, five, five, six. Yeah, he's pretty good. Isn't yeah, I didn't, I didn't get Sweden all in one lump. It's true. Ulrika, isn't that a girl? I don't know. Probably is. I still have a royal marriage with him. <clears throat> Medium. All right. I think that they will accept this piece before very much longer. The Ottomans and uh, do we have to stay at speed one? Oh, sorry, I didn't forgot. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Come on, guys. Kill the Ottomans. <clears throat> well, Sweden has decided to let their 25 stacks sit in Bohemia like a dumbass. Just uh, just sit there being uh, exiled forever. That's, that's nice. Good job, Sweden. Yeah, the AI is really weird about that sometimes oh hey there's a huge stack of reformed zealots in england Let's yeah they're having that. some sort of religious civil disorder thing going on over there mm. i'll need to do some annexation soon the ottomans in hungary keep running around trying to avoid my troops Already. Yeah, well, that's what quick. happens. That's what happens when you play part of the episode on speed one, <laughs> by without without realizing it. So sorry about that, everybody. Uh, are you guys in a good spot? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I, if you enjoyed the episode, please consider liking the video of whoever you're watching because it helps out the channels. Uh, and of course, subscribe if you want to see some of our other content. And check out the links in the video descriptions below for alternate perspectives on the game. And I hope everybody out there has a terrific day. See ya. Take care.